footwork in Epe is a rather challenging and highly demanding activity. While in foil, you can count on priority to maintain the right of way, finishing an attack and getting the point. In Epe, we don't have that. So we have to be active on our feet, while also being aware of the target we are presenting. For that reason, Epe footwork is both an aggressive, defensive, and displacement activity. That means you are probing your opponent for a touch, you're actively maintaining a defense, and you're displacing a target at the same time, as your feet are a valid target to attack. What we're going to be doing today is we are going to deconstruct our footwork, strip it down into its four principal attributes, we're going to analyze them, work on them independently, and then once we're comfortable with all four, we're going to combine them into the finished set. Let's get started. The first attribute we're going to look at is what I call the elevator. Standing in the generous on guard, make sure that your back foot is up beyond your back shoulder. Your front heel should be directly underneath your front knee. In this position, you're going to be pushing up with your toes, so your heels are elevated above the ground. This is going to strengthen your quads and your calf. So, standing in this position, you elevate up, you lower, and you repeat. This is gonna help strengthen your toes and those muscles I just referred to. And do this for 15 seconds or until you feel comfortable with the action. Up and down, nice and slow. Make sure that you're not displacing your legs out. Don't do this because it's not elevating yourself. It's more like a false split. Make sure you're pushing yourself up like so. Our second attribute is what is called the bounce. Again, make sure that you're sitting in that deep on guard and remain on your toes. You're going to be pushing up so that you're leaving the ground just a little bit. You don't want to be going up too high. Make sure that you continue to do this for 15 seconds or until you feel comfortable with the exercise. While you're doing this, make sure that your upper body isn't pitching around. It should not be going forward or back, side to side. It should just stay neutral in the middle. Our third attribute is the half step. We're going to be doing a half step forward in this case, and that is going to be where your front foot advances forward, but your back foot remains in the same position. I'm going to repeat this for about 15 seconds or until you feel comfortable with it. And when you're doing this half step, make sure that your back foot is on its toe, your front foot also on its toe. Just like this, maintain the half step. You can advance forward a little bit, but you're always recovering back. Your fourth attribute is going to be another half step. This time it's going to be the back foot taking a half step back. Again, on your toes. And repeat this for 15 seconds or until you feel comfortable with it. And make sure that you don't collapse. Stay up. Just take that step. You're pushing slightly with your front foot. Very good. Before we get started with our footwork and our circuits that will follow, a quick warning for those who are not used to this activity. Make sure that you're wearing enough padding within your shoes, thick heavy sock, or wear two socks. This will give you the necessary padding to make sure you don't develop blisters on your toes or suffer any serious discomfort. Let's get started. Now that we're feeling comfortable with all four of those attributes, we're going to throw them all together and see what our finished footwork is going to be like. Remain in that same on guard position, make sure you're on your toes, and let's get started. You're going to start with a step forward, pushing with your back foot, and then step back, pushing with your front foot. This activity maintains certain displacement of your foot, while also being able to maintain some mobility to push the attack. Now having just done our footwork, let's now take another look at it a little bit slower and I want you to pay attention to what happens to the front foot. As when you are advancing, you are presenting your foot as a target, so if you invite the attack, you'll notice that on the retreat, the toe is getting tucked underneath the knee so as to displace it as a valid target to exploit. Let's have a look.
for our first circuit, we're going to be doing a step forward and a step back every 15 seconds, finishing with a lunge for a total of four lunges. For our first circuit, we're going to be doing one step forward, one step back every 15 seconds, doing a lunge for a total of four lunges. For our second circuit, we're going to be doing two steps forward, two steps back, with a lunge every 15 seconds, for a total of four lunges. For our third and final circuit, we're going to be doing three steps forward, three steps back, with a lunge every 15 seconds for a total of four lunges. recovering and repeating that step for a total of up. This way your heels are not ugh. This is going to strengthen your calves and your whatever the hell these things are called. You elevate up. Hold this position. This is going to strengthen your strength Slippery. <clears throat> 